Marcus Smart's come into the game. Ojale is also in for Boston. Horford straight away knocks down a three. Al's left the court briefly, then came right back in. Yeah, and I love in the inside out game with Al out there playing the five, you can go ahead and post Marcus up. Inside, good spot. Easy, yep. easy two. Nice soft lefty hook yep. from Aaron Baines. The lead. He gets the lead. Turn it over. Over Isaac, count it, and Isaac was called for foul. Yeah, no need to post up small guys. <laughs> Just go, go after the tallest man on the court. Tatum gives it up, Smart sets his feet, buries a three. Good job with the overhelp screen from Baines, and once Marcus knocks one down, confidence goes through the roof, knocks down the three from the top of the key. <laughs> I thought we were overreacting to our start of the season. Morris drills the baseline jump shot. One thing that's apparent when watching Morris, he is incredibly skilled. I don't remember him being this skilled when uh, we played Detroit. Turnover. Gets it ahead. Tatum, Biombo chasing. Tatum lays it in and got fouled. 33 seconds. Or do that. Or just take the dunk and make sure you play defense. So you can't make free throws. They're young. Smart with the strip. Boston's got plenty of time. Ujale. What an ending to the Celtics half. Checking off the Al Horford and Ojale being wide open in the corner. Starts coming up with the steal on the other end. Marcus takes it to the basket for two. Smart for three. Got it. Nice simple flex mm -hmm. offense. Marcus Smart comes off, gets the dribble handoff, knocks down the big three. Orlando just five of 20 shoot threes. What a big time defensive play by Smart. Smart cuts in there for the steal. Takes it to the basket with the left hand. Doesn't work out. Kicked by Rozier out of bounds. As the Celtics have an 87 73 lead with the ball. To the corner. Tatum for three. This looks so easy for them. Yeah. Still another Celtic and double figures now. Tatum has 10. Marcus, you were everywhere doing everything tonight. 11.7 boards, eight assists to go along with three steals. What was your mindset coming in? You know, just come in and be aggressive. Uh, you know, we're playing a really good team who's been gelling offensively wise. And, uh, you know, we wanted to come in and break them early and, you know, try to keep this rhythm that we have going. Late in the third, early in the fourth, Coach Stevens stuck with that three-guard lineup, you, Terry, and Shane. You guys pushed the lead out to double digits. What was working with that group? You know, you, when you got a guy like Shane, you know, it is, it is quick and he's short, but his athleticism for that size to be able to pick up people full court and really be a pest. And then you got me and Terry on the back end protecting everybody. Uh, you know, it helped us a lot because you bring speed, you bring quickness, and you bring toughness. Six guys scoring in double figures tonight against a team that had been playing defensively pretty well. What enabled that to happen? We was moving the ball. Everybody touched it. We was making the right plays, and that's what we got to do, especially against a team, like you said, we've been playing really good defensively. And, and you know, we, we shut them down offensively, and we got out of the ring. And finally, I know you love this. Eight straight wins, holding all of those opponents to 95 points or less. Al told me before the game he was surprised at how fast you guys have come together on that end. How is it? How are you doing it? Uh, you got a lot of guys, you know, we're young, but we're willing to work, and we want to be good at defense. So, you know, we preach that every day. Our offense is going to come, um, but we got to stay with this defense. If we can get, it, get the ball out and run, anything's possible for us. If we can get down the floor and we can score easily.